Obey my commands at all times, touch gloves, good luck. So I do not expect a premature stoppage tonight. Curtis Stevens' big shot is his left hook. He just tried one against Golovkin moments ago. Golovkin lands a left hook of his own. Well, Triple G is doing a good job starting out early with his jab, trying to keep Stevens away from him so he can't land that left hook. And he himself had a pretty good amateur background. Very quick fighter. Golovkin lands a right cross, first one he throws. And focusing on defense, now he tries a big shot and lands a right cross. Thing to see Golovkin backing away from a guy, but he respects Steven's power. And Good I left hook. Golovkin wants to punctuate the round with something. Ask Gennady Golovkin to double his jab. Expecting something big to land. <laughs> and the threat of that has already dulled Golovkin's normal early rounds attack. And Stevens landed a left hook. There's a fighter named Darnell Boone. Knocked down Andre Ward, the only pro to do it. Not a lot has happened so far, but there is this sense of... And they asked for the same punch out of Stevens' corner, but he's not throwing it as much. Big left hook for Golovkin. That's what his corner wanted. Right hand for Golovkin. Stevens with another little counter left hook. Good right hand by Golovkin. Good left hook by oh. Golovkin. And down goes Stevens. There it is. Passack Thunder Six, in round number two. Seven. And now Gennady will go for the kill. 15 seconds in the round. He runs across the ring. Bang Stevens into the ropes. 10 seconds to go in the round. Body shot. Looking upstairs. Misses with the left hook. Lands a right hand. Wobbles Stevens with it. One more right hand, and the round comes to a close. See Triple Z with a lead left hook and he followed it by an even better left hook that sent Curtis Stevens to the canvas. The first right hook was a great setup punch. It was a beautiful lead left hook that caught him flush on the chin. With the means to land the heavy thunder. Stevens not letting his hands go now as Golovkin jabs him into position in the corner, throws a right cross, gets in a left hook to the body. Now Stevenson, or Stevens fires back a counter right hand. Uppercut by Golovkin. Coming back at him. Two big right crosses by Golovkin. Partially blocked both of them. And the possibility of a counter shot. The there it was. Body shot. There it was. Left hook to the liver. Right hand upstairs. Another body shot by Golovkin. Errol Letterman, how do you have it through three? Okay, Jim. I got a three rounds to that thing. 30 to 26, Gennady Golovkin. I mean, if you watch this, incredibly accurate guy. Making Stevens keep his hands at home with his offense. That's why Stevens is not throwing so many punches. At least has some success coming forward with Stevens, at least that third round, just to clear his head after the second round knockdown. Of course, of course. Hear what he's telling his fighter as the round progresses. Oh, big body shot by Golovkin. Another body shot for Golovkin, this with the right hand. He's got Stevens pinned against the ropes. Oh. And now Stevens erupts with two good clean shots. And knocks Golovkin back. Those are clean shots he's landed. Had he fought that last right hand with left hook, with the right hand. Golovkin lands a, an uppercut and a left hook. Taking advantage of Stevens' offense to counter with a couple of shots down the stretch. On replay, you saw Golovkin actually did a good defensive job there. It encouraged Stevenson, I mean, Stevens to come forward more. Golovkin knocking him back with the jab. Lands the right hand over the top. Oh, big left hook by Stevens. Momentarily wobbled Golovkin. Good hook by Good left hook by Golovkin, right on the chin. Does not sit back and wait on Gennady Golovkin. But when he waits, Glopkin lands that jab. Something Eastern European fighters seem to do very well. Body shot for Golovkin. Even though Golovkin's won all the rounds, Stevens is exposing a vulnerability to speed here. The New Yorker Martinez is still very fast and, and hits sneaky hard. And this fight is a long way from over. Good right up cut by Stevens. He's landed some good shots in this round. Now Golovkin with a body shot 
and a right cross, and momentarily hurts Stevens. Good comeback uppercut and a right cross by Stevens. Stevens. And the left hook. Stevens Golovkin trying to up. measure him one more time. Yes. Right cross for Golovkin. Body shot. Uppercut. Right cross. It's a dangerous punch to throw for Golovkin. Another right cross lands for Golovkin. He wobbled Stevens with a couple of shots and is still seeking a knockout as the round progresses. Good left hook for Stevens. That's the counter shot Golovkin has to worry about. But it's a real fight as we get within 40 seconds of the midway point. Of course he's very dangerous and they're close. So that's where his arms are most dangerous at in, in close fighting. Here's the Gennady Golovkin doing his best up and down work. Left up a cut to the head, but left body shot, which brought the hands down. Then follow a jab with the overhand right, right crisp on the jaw. 18 of 47 for Stevens, and yes, you saw Stevens' mom. And how do you have it? Look at you, six to nothing. 60 to 53, Gennady Golovkin. But I gotta tell you something, this is interesting. At the start of round five, and Harvey Doc said, you know, you can't measure the guy. The whole time I fought, whether I was winning or losing, she had to walk the entire time, so. His beautiful wife, Barbara, used to walk the perimeter of the upper deck of the stadium. The corner wanted to know why Stevens was against the ropes. I think it was those body shots by Golovkin in the last round, but here Stevens is trying his best to stay in the middle of the ring. And now Golovkin tries to back him up again. Golovkin's done a great job avoiding the... And for Glevkin, though, he doesn't really have to be this close. Good right hand by Stevens. Backs Golovkin off. Curtis is throwing punches and backing him up, and they want to see that from him. Seventh Good. round. Balanced attack for Golovkin. Seven. Golovkin's the guy who knocked him down with a punch. And Golovkin, so far, is beating him on the physical abuse. Yeah, but Stevens in the last minute has landed a flush left hook. He keeps his chin tucked well, even if he doesn't always move his head. So he does get hit, but not Really hard head. body shot by Golovkin, and Stevens backs up into the ropes again. He might have hurt him with that body shot. He did, Jim. Now right hand body shot. Stevens with a counter left hook to try to relieve the pressure. Golovkin, pressure, pressure, pressure. <laughs> hard right cross. Breaking him down that Jim. Yeah, it looks like if we get a knockout by Golovkin, it's going to be the submission of Will variety. I, I see Curtis breaking down physically. Tremendous left-hand body shots by Golovkin. Three of them in this round. Thunder on the liver. And Golovkin still alert enough to back off those up. Hard right-hand body shot here in the eighth round. Incipient beatdown in Madison Square Garden. Stevens seeming to give in just a little bit here. Landed a left shot off the ropes. Harvey Dock watching, watching, watching. About to stop this one. Dangerous fight right now for Stevens because he's throwing back just enough to stop the ref from stopping it. Big right cross by Golovkin. Whipping Curtis Stevens into the corner. And he makes it out of round eight. Uh -oh, that's it. And they're going to stop it in the corner. That's a great stoppage. Andre Rozier had seen enough. That's a great stoppage. The winner by that KO victory, still undefeated and still middleweight champion of the world from Kazakhstan. The undefeated Gennady Triple G.